Founded in 1854, the Met Office is the UK's national meteorological service. We provide critical weather services and world-leading climate science. We support UK government, businesses, emergency responders and the public to enable people to make better decisions, to live and work safely and productively. I'm the product manager for a small team called Logging, Monitoring and Alerting. What I do is work with potential or current customers of our Elastic Cloud service, helping them to actually gain insights from the data that they send. I have technical responsibility for multiple areas within the Met Office. One of them is the Logging, Monitoring and Alerting team. The primary driver for the LMA project was to cover off the HMG audit action. There were two elements into that, being able to answer the security questions, how secure are our systems, what's the integrity, what's the availability like. In addition to that, we could answer other questions that maybe hadn't occurred to us at the time. Because we were gathering all that data in, it required investment. We would want to see a return on that. The way to do that was to crack open some of the value that is hidden within logs. Before we had the LMA Elastic Cloud Service, we had no consistent log storage, no consistent log retention. It meant that all the different services maybe had their own log store, but it was very much siloed. Say if there was a cyber security incident, we couldn't just make sure very quickly whether that actual incident threatened the Met Office or not. The scope of the project was something that was quite wide when it first started. We had 65 requirements, I think, initially. We wanted to build an enduring capability. That is only going to happen if you get people to actually adopt and use the service. Why did we choose Elastic? At the time, we already had Elastic on-premise, so it was a known quantity. We had issues with regards to the way that it had been maintained and also the fact that we couldn't scale it very easily. By moving across to Elastic Cloud, Elastic take care of the scalability for us and they also take care of the maintenance of the actual clusters. It's always patched, it's always up to date. We don't need to worry about that element of it. From our side of it, we can then concentrate on getting value from what we're storing. That's what Elastic helps us do. We support hundreds of users across the Met Office, from science, observations, technology, IT operations. We are a small team and therefore actually managing to support them and enable them to adopt the service, we couldn't possibly do on our own. So we rely heavily on the support that we get from Elastic. Because the Met Office has such a diverse IT platform, gathering it into one place is only half the battle. We need to be able to ingest the data into an analytics platform. In this case, it's Elastic. For that, we actually use the Elastic Common Schema. Elastic Search for us is providing us with that analytics capability. It's being able to search, it's being able to do cross-correlation on systems and services. Our overall relationship with Elastic, I can describe as mutually beneficial. I ran a class benefit survey where I asked different users what benefits they'd gained from using our Elastic Cloud service. One of the quotes I got was from Observations. We've used this service to detect faults in our lightning detection system hardware, which have triggered remote fixes to the system to get them working as intended. It's also shown problems with data flow through the processing chain, and that's enabled fault detection and restoration by support teams. Elastic has given us a partner. The product is part of it. But with Elastic, it is the partnership as well. Having the ability to go back, bounce ideas off them, being able to get advice on something that we want to do in future, and also being able to pick up the pieces whenever we break the system. has helped a very small team to be able to actually support many users.